Look who is here. Hello, hello, hello. I have no idea what happened. However, you know, I'm really, really patient. I'm a patient person. So I totally logged out. I turned everything off. I shut the system down. I waited a couple of minutes and logged back in. And now I'm in. So welcome to Sunday Chit Chat with Chichi Beauty. How are you all doing? Um, rough start, not from my end, as you all already could see. I was able to communicate with you guys, but it's Sunday and the system could be overcrowded as well as the um, YouTube sometimes tend to use the weekend to fix things and to do things on their server. And I actually feel like that is what was going on today. I feel like they were working on the server. However, when they do, it don't normally take a long time. It's sometimes like, you know, a, a half an hour to an hour. I don't know how long it was down, but it is back up and running. It just happened to fall on my time, my slot time, but the show must go on and we are here and it is the holiday season. Now, before I get into the show and you know, everything happened for a reason because I'm going to keep it real with you. Today was going to be our giveaway show, but we are not ready. And that is the honest truth. We are not ready. We have not, you know, completed all the, you know, the little trimmings that we need for the show. And we decided that we're going to do the show on Christmas Day instead. So it's a good thing because we would have lost like half an hour. So everything just worked for a reason. So I woke up this morning and I was like, listen, we're not doing the show today. We're not ready. Look at my eyes. We are too tired. We're not going to get it done. But we're going to do a show today. We are going to prepare you guys for the big day, which is Christmas Day. And that's the day we're going to come in at a reasonable time. And I'm probably will ask you guys to, you know, say whatever time you think is best for us to have that show. I'm thinking about midday or somewhere there. We're going to have the show and we're going to do the giveaway. And at least, you know, we will, more people will be home and and, you know, chilling with the family and if they're not in the kitchen cooking. So instead of, you know, the gift giving, we are just going to talk about um, how to unwind, you know, home remedies, little skincare stuff that you can do just to help you to unwind for these holidays. Because if you are like me, you need to unwind, okay? I really and truly need to unwind. I have been like running, just running, 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 running around. And are you guys like, you know, broke? <laughs> like really, really broke. Like you spend so much till your head is hurting and, you know, you really need to relax and you finish buying present, but... um you realize that you didn't get something for someone and then didn't get something for another one. And then you realize that if you have to give this one something, the other person um, that is connected to that person will have to get something too. And the list just keep going, 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 going. So that's where I'm at. But the good thing about everything and the best part of it is that I am extremely happy. This is my time of the year. I love the holidays. I love the festivities. I love to wear the red and the green and the, you know, the little bling bling. And I just love, love, I love the food and, you know, like, oh, my niece, they are here. But but guess what? They all were sleeping like really, really late this morning. So nothing was going on in this house, but they are all here. And you, if you're like an oldies, you know, when this time come around and everyone is home, I'm happy. And like, I'm really, really happy, even though my eyes can't open. Now, let me do some shout out because I just created a topic today, to be honest with you guys, where I will share some remedy. But the honest truth is, I really just want to just chit chat and talk to you guys and find out what you're doing, what you're eating, what you're going to cook, you know, Wednesday, how you celebrate your, your holidays. I really just want to do that, but I have to have a topic. So the topic is how to unwind, you know, with some natural skincare remedies. And I'm just going to give you a quick one and then we just talk, you know, and I'm going to throw in some remedies. 
in between conversation. Now you all know guys that when you are, you know, around the family and all of that, you need to look amazing. Yes, 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 yes. Especially if you have the young people around because everyone is going to be like, oh, and when you are not paying attention, you just realize that someone is taking your picture like mm, 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 uh, Instagram, uh, 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 Snapchat. So look your best, guys. Look your best, even though you are home. Chill. Put your Christmas pajama on or something, but put a little makeup on and throw on some lipstick and feel good at home and put a little music on and just, you know, unwind. So before you get to that stage, you need to just exfoliate your skin, okay? Especially the family is coming over exfoliate your skin and a quick and easy way to exfoliate your skin is just to get yourself some brown sugar the same brown sugar you're going to use in the cake or to make the gravy or the same brown sugar that you are going to use to make the apple pie you know some people like the brown sugar and the apple pie i do that's the same sugar you're going to take two tablespoons from okay you're going to take two tablespoons of the sugar and if you use coconut oil or olive oil or whatever oil you're going to use, you know, to grease the pot or to fry that chicken. If you're going to fry chicken, you're going to take a little of that oil and you're going to put it with the, with the brown sugar. You're going to mix that up and you're going to put some lemon drops. Or better yet, some of you might be making rum punch. I don't know if everybody make rum punch. I know the Caribbean, they are very big on that. Just take up one of the lime or the lemon that you're going to use and put it aside to use in your facial scrub and squeeze it in it. Okay. If not, use some lemon drops and blend all of this goodness together you can also throw a pack of green tea in it mix it up and exfoliate your skin all right start from this evening so that you know the big day christmas day or whatever it is you celebrate you will look nice when the relatives come over and i stress on the relatives because the relatives sometimes could be very very odd your family you don't care you could walk around in the house looking all messy but when the in-laws come in and all of that stuff mm, they come to talk all right and if you're going to the in-law present yourself so make sure your skin is looking amazing that they could look at you like mm, her face really look nice what is it she using so okay so you're gonna mix the brown sugar with some lemon juice or even better yet with some lemon zest you're gonna add either coconut oil olive oil whatever oil you use in your kitchen add a little bit to it like a tablespoon of oil to it put some green tea if you have that you really don't have to put it in whip it up and use it to exfoliate your skin exfoliate it in circular motion and this is a wonderful this you know remedy is really good for a quick fix your skin is looking dull you're not feeling you know you're tired your eyes are looking bad that's a quick fix to get the skin wake up because the lemon juice or the lemon zest is going to help to brighten the skin so that's like a quick christmas remedy okay and if you have some rose powder or rose water you could tip a little in that you know just to make it festive with you know a little red something going on all right so that's just one quick remedy because i race through the remedy because i really want to come and do the shout out now i'm going to start from the top for those of you who were on way way before the thing fixed mayo mayo marison happy holidays May magna lean happy holidays um i'll Halmenta, happy holidays to you. Hello, Makeup Forever, happy holidays. We also have Lucy. Happy holidays, Lucy. I hope you are having a wonderful day. And we were talking about the tamales, and we're going to talk a little more about it. And we also have Juliana Robinson, happy holiday to you. Gina Gina, happy holiday. What is it that you celebrate? Once you're on the chat, and guys, we're still going to pick names. So if you miss any of those live chat for um, almost a month leading on to the day, you still could comment and um, get your name enter into the drawing since we're going to be doing it on Wednesdays instead of today. I'm actually really so, um, surprised that some people is here because I know a lot of people is out there rushing and picking up groceries. Some people trying to beat the crowd and all of that, but we'll keep the show a little longer today since we start late so that other people could come on. So if you're watching, comment, 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 and give the video a thumbs up to show your appreciation of the topic today. Lisa Hamilton, still okay hello inga k how are you happy um holidays and we also hello jason happy holidays to you we also have um 
Um, okay, so those are the people who was there with me, struggling with me to fix the system. And so we also have Sharon, Sharon, Sharon um, Lewin, how are you? And we also have Taryn, hello Taryn. Um, Ma, uh, I, you know I mess you up all the time, but it's M-A and H-K. Hello Rita, where were you last week? I hope you're doing well. Happy holidays to you. I haven't seen you around last week. Anyway, we give you a shout out even though you weren't on. And we have Linda um, Mahabri. How are you, Cynthia Flores? We also have Francilla, um, Renee, um, um, Jill. Hello, Jill, Duchess. How are you? Happy holidays. And Sonia Stanley, happy holidays. We also, I'm, and I'm looking to see what you guys are saying. If you ask a question, I'll answer. But I know most people is just saying happy holidays. And we have Elomo, Elomo, happy holidays to you. Um, welcome back. Um, Mina, how are you? Happy holiday. Um, Carla June, what do you recommend for loose skin under the eyes? I recommend that you. The remedy I post this morning is very good. Well, not really this morning, to be honest with you guys. The video was like so late because I went to bed like pretty late, hanging out with the kids. I call them kids, but they're grown people, chit-chatting, laughing, having fun. Didn't finish the video or anything like that. Woke up this morning, yes, 5.30. And little old me, guys, if you guys listening, I know you're somewhere in the house. If you're not sleeping, turn it off. Don't listen. Wake up this morning and I have to finish buying the gifts because I didn't finish. All right. So then I um, went on to finish editing the video. Just had breakfast just now. But it's, it's, it's all good. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So the video was very late, but I still put it out there so you guys could go and watch it after. It's really an old remedy of mine that I made before, and I kind of edit over the video, to be honest, to just to share it with you because it's amazing to use on the eyes, and I like to make it so I share it with you. So when you're done, you could go and watch it. It's all about taking care of eye bags, puffy eyes, and dark on the eye circle very simple remedy using only three amazing ingredients so give that a try over the holidays and see you know if it works for you if not we have a playlist of dark on the eye circles remedies that you could go on my page click on the playlist and you're going to see a wide variety of those videos pick choose and refuse but i recommend choosing one that we use like the parsley leaves in and the cucumber or the potato juice choose any one that have some of those in ingredient okay all right so we also have um large pores merry um uh, merry christmas to you chichi please i i have large pores how do i shrink it or make it disappear and the remedy that i just gave using the brown sugar the brown sugar with the coconut oil you're going to use that to exfoliate your skin because what happened when those pores are open because they're filled with grease and dead skin cells and all of that and you need to steam your face okay and we have some a video or two using the steamer um you know regular homemade method some of you might be getting a steamer for your gift anyway keep it tight all right so yeah so try to steam your face and we have a whole show that we did once talking about how to steam your face you could use a hot rug or you could use your tub your face basin like this with hot water or you could buy a little anl steamer that so many people are going crazy about these days so you could use one of that steam the face and then you exfoliate the face after you exfoliate you can use any form of a clay mask and those are good for tightening the skin and that is going to help you to tighten it and get rid of those pores like not get rid of but shrink those pores so try some of those remedies and come back and leave a comment and most time in most cases people comment that they do work okay all right so we are moving on Carla what do you recommend okay that I read that Carla you're so lucky you get your name um read twice um I'm wearing a fragrance today guy Mm, it's like really amazing fragrance. Like if you on the chat and you like fragrance, comment, comment, comment. And if you on the chat and you could guess what fragrance I'm wearing today, I know, I know it's far fetched. I like, I really don't know who is gonna guess it, but it's possible that somebody might guess it. If you're familiar with fragrance and you know a lot of fragrance, you could chime in. If you could guess the fragrance that I'm wearing today. The person that get it right, I definitely will send you a bottle, okay? 
And it's no joke. It's really amazing. So let's see who is going to get. Hello, Pauline C. How are you dear? doing? Happy holidays to you. We have um, Kavarli Barnett. Happy holidays to you. Um, Jill, I celebrate nothing, but nothing is a something. Okay. So now, Jill, you're going to tell me why you don't celebrate nothing. <laughs> nothing is something. I know you celebrate something, Jill. If it's evil, looking forward to being home, cuddling up and not having to go to work or something or somebody giving you some piece of cake or something. It's still a form of celebration, you know, um, to each his own, but I definitely know you celebrate something. All right. So, all right, Taryn, Merry Christmas, everybody. I celebrate Christmas, but I keep it simple with the family. I don't spend too much for Christmas. And I agree with you that you must definitely now. For me, I um I grew up like getting gifts and stuff like that for Christmas. Um, I celebrate Christmas if you're on the chat and you don't celebrate Christmas. If you ce celebrate like um, Anuka, I know you have your um, seven days, I think, of gift giving. Every day you get something else. You have um, Kwanzaa. And what are the holidays you have that I'm not um, you know, uh, mentioning? If you celebrate something else, feel free to comment, but those are the ones that I am familiar with. So those why I talk about them. I like to give right during the year. When it comes down to like, let's say my partner, I like to give something right during the year. However, when it comes on to the holidays, I think it's like a family time. And I like to give I like to see like my niece and my nephews. I like to see when their face look, you know, like happy. I like the, I just like that time. So in my house, what we do, we pack everything under the Christmas tree on Christmas morning. We would wake up. It's like a late household, to be honest, like breakfast sometimes is like 1 a.m., we don't care. It's just the norm. This year, I'm going to try to do better, though. I'm going to try to do better. Let's hope it happens. Anyway, so we would get up. We would have breakfast. And after breakfast, then we would all exchange gifts, which I, is what I like. So everybody have to, you know, have something. It don't have to be very expensive. It's all about, you know, your budget, what you could afford. And we exchange gifts. And we have, like, a fun time just doing that for about two hours or so. And after that, we just chill a little bit and you know, it's internet, everybody in the household like internet. So we would be on the internet and talking and all of that. And, you know, all of that would end up running late because I'm the one who cook Christmas dinner. I like to make Christmas dinner. I like to do the Thanksgiving dinner and I like to do the New Year's dinner. And after that, I don't have to cook for the rest of the year. Okay. So, um, we would end up cooking. We'd set the table nice and then we would, you know, eat like 9 a.m. <laughs> It's not a joke. It's the truth. Last year we had dinner 9 a.m. This year I'm going to try to make dinner for 6 o'clock. So that's what we do for the holidays. And right during the time we drink like wine and all of that good stuff. You know, so a regular holiday. The night before, like we go to like, you know, the city and we walk around Rockefeller and stuff like that. And um, I always want to go and catch the, um, get a little peep at the midnight mask in the city. But I'm always late, so I always get locked up because after a while they stop letting people in the church, so I don't normally catch it. I might stay outside and see people coming out and, you know, like, oh, I'm late again. But that's that's just my holiday in a nutshell. And what is it that you do? And I'm still reading to see if anybody's going to get the scent. All right, Lucy, my favorite is um, Margie. It is a scent from Spain. And I don't know that one. That's one I'm going to put down. Amika, strawberry fragrance. And we also have um, Jaruku um, Chenia. What do I use? I also have wrinkles on my face and neck. We put some, maze, we put some ring, um, a neck um, mask this week. That is really, really good. Like really, 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 really good. I use it. I walk around the house with it. I have fun with it and I love it. So if you missed that video, you can go and watch it. And uh, somebody is very warm. Um, if you know that fragrant makeup forever, you definitely can guess my fragrant. That's not it. But if you know that fragrant, you definitely can guess it. All right. So keep going. Jason, flower bomb. No, it's not flower bomb. I do have flower bomb. I love that. 
do. I really and truly love the flower one, but I'm not. You, you guys, if you guys know those fragrance, you guys are gonna guess it. Somebody's gonna get it right. All right, so we have Lisa Hamilton, uh, Miss Doer. I love that one too, especially the new one. But that's not it. Very, very cool. Very, very warm. And we have channel number five. It's not that. And we have Midnight Rose. Mark Jacob is not. I'm. Somebody's gonna get it. I know somebody's gonna get it. So keep guessing, guys. Keep guessing. And um, the person that come the closest at the end, even if you don't get it, and you mention like the the designer name, tips, um, trade it out there, then you definitely will um will get the, the 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 little giveaway that we do it. Hello, Loretta. How are you? All right, guys. Let's talk another. Give another um recipe. All right. So you exfoliate the skin, right? You're looking for a facial mask, one that is just going to have your face feeling refreshed, nothing too heavy. You just want it to feel good that, you know, um, give you that little glow that you need to go see the family or when the family. And guys, if you are inviting people over your house for dinner, please put yourself together. The O's are supposed to look good. I know, I know, I know. Some of you in the kitchen slaving, slaving away like, oh, oh, we have to make the gravy and all of that. But what I normally do and take a tip from me, very close to the end of preparing the meal, I would run and get myself dressed. Get yourself dressed, put on your nice clothes and wait for the visitors to come. If there's nobody coming, still get dressed to go sit on the table and eat if you do sit on the table some people have a friend that they don't sit on the table what they do they put everything on the table and right through as they probably start eating already even though today is sunday anyway so <laughs> they put everything on the table and you know whenever people get hungry they will just go and eat the families over and all of that they do that i like a table setting to be honest i like everybody at the table i like the food in the middle sometimes the table not big enough you put it on a little side thing and we sit and we we eat and we say the prayers. I like all of that. Pop open the wine or the champagne, eat, laugh, talk for two, three hours. That's what I like. But everyone, you know, do something different. Some people cook and eat like 2 p.m. in the afternoon. I like the evening dinner with all the table, with all the trimming, with all the different knife and fork. And I like the champagne glass. The water. Yeah, I like all of that. Anyway, back to the chat. So we're going to talk about a facial mask, one you could use to unwind, to relax, to chill. Anybody like sour cream? And anybody's going to make anything with sour cream? There is a little soup that I like to make, and I like to make it with squash. I just uh, boil the squash. I blend the squash, you know, the immersion blender. Yes, and put some cream in it and sour cream and um, heavy cream and season that nice, nicely puree, biscuit. Anyway, Ooh, do, 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 do. really, really nice. So... I use the sour cream to just put a little double on the top of that. So if you use sour cream for your cooking, you are probably serve, some of you probably already buy it. If not, you have yogurt in the house. That's what we're gonna use to make the facial mask, okay? So we're gonna get either sour cream or yogurt. We're just taking out some of the stuff that we're gonna use to cook um, you know, for the holidays. So what you're going to do with it, you are going to take two tablespoons, if you're making just for one use, of either yogurt or the sour cream. And you, let me see the recipe I wrote here for you guys. Okay, yes. If you have applesauce, some of you are going to be using applesauce, whatever it is you use the applesauce to do. If not, if you have fresh apple, just, you know, grate a little of the apple or just get some apple juice. You know, be careful with the preservative if you're buying the apple juice at the store because it's full of sugar. Fresh is always better. But applesauce, fresh, plain, unsweetened applesauce, you take a little, you mix that in that um, yogurt or sour cream. You blend that up together. You can throw in a little bit of a lemon oil, not juice now, a little bit of lemon oil if you have that. If not, you can tip a little of the leftover coffee in it. Not a lot, two teaspoon. Mix it up and put it on your face and your neck. Also, if you are looking to tighten the skin and you have fuller's earth hanging around the house, you could put a tablespoon, not a tablespoon, that's way too much, a teaspoon of the fuller's earth in it, or you could even put a little teaspoon of some cornstarch. That's just to help to tighten for those with the sagging skin. If you don't have sagging skin, you don't have to do it. Stick with the yogurt on or the, the, the sour cream along with the... Um, 
the lemon drops, and what else did I just, and the apple sauce, okay? But if you're looking to tighten, you could have these powdery things like the Fuller's Earth or the um, cornstarch to it. Mix it up, put it on your face, and unwind. Relax. Get a glass of something. Whatever it is you drink. Whether you drink water, whether you drink apple juice, pomegranate juice, champagne, you know, nice wine, sky's the limit. Get something to drink and just relax. Just lay back with that mask on your face. If you use Fuller's Earth in it, it's going to dry on the skin. If you don't use any Fuller's Earth in it, it's not going to dry, but it's going to get the job done. And wine, chill, relax, relax your mind and enjoy the little facial mask. At least you can do that for yourself this holiday season. All right, so we have um, Kavila. Um, um, Chichi, I freeze most of my of your facial ingredients so I can use them whenever I want. Thanks a lot, you are the best, and thank you for doing that. Definitely, you are onto something, and that is amazing, especially for those um, I remedies that I like to share. So Elama, in 80 people celebrate drinking um, cream, coconut, rum, or alcohol, sugar, star, and the cinnamon, lemon zest, and make um, frita, fried meat, fried plantain, fried potato, sweet potato, and pickle. Hmm, that sounds like something I would want to eat right now. That is amazing. Like I'm just looking at the um the 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 coconut rum or alcohol, any form of alcohol that is all right, and fried plantain and sweet potato. So we um I love me some fried plantain. I love, love, love fried plant plantain. If it's one thing that that I'll go get um it's planting you'll see planting in my house i like it but i like it very 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 ripe even when it seems like it's just you know like it's almost turning oh my god somebody got it right let's see let me see somebody got it right somebody got it right somebody got it right and that is amika samuel Amika Samuel, you got it right, baby. You got it right. Black opium. That's what I'm wearing. You got it right. And you know how to go about it, Amika. I love, I really, really love this black opium. Like, black opium. <laughs> really, really do. So, definitely, you will get a bottle. If you need to get the bottle, you got to send me your email to chichibeauty at gmail.com okay chichi beauty at gmail.com somebody get it an amazing i wish i brought the bottle in here it's just an amazing fragrant guys like i love dark i love woodsy anything you know um yeah with a little sensual thing going on that is me um in the summertime yeah a little floral or uh, overall i love perfume but definitely the darker ones is what i gravitate towards and this black opium is really really amazing really really amazing why sell okay all right so you got it baby so definitely send the email I hope you're living in America. I really hope so. Or if not, trust me, I'll figure out a way to get it to you, not to worry. But definitely, you got to send your name, your address, um, your phone number, if possible, because sometimes when you're shipping, they're going to ask for the phone number and what else. Yeah, make sure you have, if it's a zip code or wherever it is that you live, full address, a full name, and um, and um phone number. I think I say that. Chichibuti at gmail.com. So yes, guys, that's the fragrance that I am wearing today. Really refreshing, amazing fragrance, which I love, like really, really love. All right. So um, Cynthia Flores, I have to go now. I love you. Beautiful. I'm going to watch it when I get home. Blessing. Thank you so much for sticking around. I know that is the day that people tend to go about doing their business. And yes, Lucy, I, I'm... Um, I knew she got it. It felt it. Congratulations, right? Yes, yes, yes. All right. Um, Carlin Dick, good night from Grenada. Um, happy holidays to you out there in Grenada. How do you guys celebrate your holidays? Do you like, you know, I guess you guys do a lot of rum something. Anyone from Jamaica here, comment and let me know if you guys still put the mixed fruit 
in the rum cake. We don't call it rum cake. We just say cake. Like I think Trinidadian call the Christmas cake, black cake. I'm not sure. Jamaica, we just say cake, okay? Our Christmas cake. And normally they put the raisin and they put the mixed fruit. Personally for me, I don't like it with the mixed fruit. I just like it with just the raisin. But you know, the same one they use in Easter time to put in the bun. Some people put it in the cake. I don't like it in there. Are people still making um are people still making the cake with the mixed fruit? Pauline C, um, you're wearing Cartier or, or Dolce and Gabbana. Pauline C, I was waiting for you to come out and say I'm wearing the Cartier from way up the top. Even though I know I wasn't wearing it, I was hoping that you would say it like earlier and then I probably would be like, okay, Pauline C, you, 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 you know that's the fragrance for me. So I'm going to give you one. Do you want another one? <laughs> anyway, why sell Pauline C? Why sell? You'll get the black opium too. Anyway, guys, Pauline C is my cousin. So isn't, she know my fragrance, so it wouldn't be fair for her to, you know, get the gift. But I normally like to give her a little perfume, so we'll give her one. Not nothing to do with the show, okay, guys? All right. Anyway, moving on. Um, Carlene Dick, good night from Grenada. I just read that. Uh, um, Cavella, I am from Jamaica. All right. So Cav um, it's not Cavella. Car oh yes, yeah, Cavella. I Cavella. Um, I know someone I grew up with with that name, um, Cavella, but I know the last name is... Anyway, you are from Jamaica. Are people in Jamaica still making rum punch? Are people still putting the um, mixed fruit in the, the, the cake? Let me know, okay? I don't like it with it. The rum punch, I love, okay? I love. Just let me know they're still doing that. All right, so um, Policy, I love you right back. Amika Samuel, actually, I am from Guyana. All right, okay, so right, you'll get your gift. You get your gift. Just send your information, and you definitely will get your gift. All right, Dolores Ma um, McLeish, good night from New York. And you are next door, so good night. If you had got this... Um, fragrant right i probably could just walk and bring it to you i'm joking <laughs> but yeah um new york in the house all right jill fruitcake is popular in u.s at um xmas time but i don't eat it now jill tell me why you don't eat the fruitcake is it because of the eggs or do you think it's too involved like there's just too much stuff in it all right so we are moving on and we're going to talk about a quick facial toner guys you know i have to drop the recipe in between the the chat we're going to talk about a quick facial toner that you could make at home just to unwind you know when you get over from over the stove or something like that and it is pretty 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 easy to make i actually wrote it down so i don't forget it is with some chamomile tea or any tea you have whether it is chamomile green tea and white tea okay now guys a lot of times all we talk about is green tea but white tea and chamomile tea is right up there on the list when it comes on to getting rid of wrinkles and fine lines on the skin especially when you are looking to make a wonderful homemade facial toner for yourself. What you're going to do, you are going to brew that chamomile tea and you are going to let it cool, like really, really cool. You could even put it in the fridge and let it cool after it's brewed. And then you are going to put some rose water in it. Rose water in itself is a natural toner that you don't even have to make anything. You could just use the rose water as a toner. But if you want to make something stronger, or you want to kick it up a notch, then you add the rose water to the chamomile tea or whichever tea that you want to use. And guess what, guys? You shake that up. You put a drop of rose um, rosehip oil if you are looking for anti-aging. Not a lot, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Or you put some vitamin C in the form of lemon oil. You shake it up. And if you want to keep it a little longer and you have vegetable glycerine, you put a little vegetable glycerine to help to preserve it a little longer. You shake it up and you spritz that on your, put it in your refrigerator, use it cold, spritz it on your face, let it dry, and then you add your favorite serum and moisturizer. Quick and easy 
homemade uh, facial toner. That is going to help to get rid of the wrinkles and fine lines. And it's just going to hydrate the skin. Now, guys, because you add the, if you had the lemon or a little bit of the rose hip oil, you are going to get a slight, a little fragrance. But if you want to keep it, kick it up a notch, you could add a little bit of a lavender oil to it to give it, you know, this nice uh, floral lavender fragrance. And inhale and relax. Inhale. You can even add some extra rose um, oil to it, even though you have the rose water, a little rose oil to make the fragrance a little stronger. It's going to help to calm you. And that's as natural as it gets. Chamomile tea, one tea bag, one cup of water, put it um, to brew one cup of hot water, put it to brew, let it cool, use about another, let's say, um, four tablespoons of rose water in it, mix it up, add a little bit of uh, your favorite oil, just um, two to three drops, whatever oil you use, whether it is cacao, whether it is, ro um, whether it is rose hip oil, any of those fancy oil, one or two drops in it, shake it up, add a little lemon lime, optional or a little lavender oil optional and spritz it on your face or use a cotton pad and wipe your face with it amazing and pauline what would you do for a daily facial serum i have some amazing facial serum that i mixed there's this carrot butter um pauline Anyway, I'll give you the facial serum. All right, there's this carrot butter that you could get to buy. You take that carrot butter and you add a little bit of a aloe vera gel, the store-bought aloe vera gel that is, I'll make one for you. I definitely will make one for you. A little aloe vera gel in it, and then you put your favorite oils in it whatever you like whether it is your um rose hip or your cacao oil or even your vitamin a or any of those special oil the bachi oil is right there up on the list the sesame seed oil is right there up on the list you can use any two or any three or you could even just use one mix it and apply it at night on your face preferably night and wake up in the morning you rinse off amazing layer on top of that whatever um, facial uh, moisturizer you have whether you have a store-bought one yes or no or a cheap one just layer it on top of it and you do it for a week or two and come back and tell me if you don't see um, amazing um, things going on on your skin Brooke B I said um, optimum before she said black <laughs> yes but it's two different things I know you said that okay I know you said that, but it's too, they do have um, the um, opium. They do have that by itself, and that's an older fragrance. And a lot of people used to like really go crazy about that, but now they have, they put the black in front, which is a total, total different fragrance. And it don't smell as the old fragrance is. It's have a more refreshing uh, fragrance. However, I'm going to be fair to you. And I'm going to give you one also. So send your information in address, a phone number, and uh, yeah, address and phone number, full address, full name, and phone number, and you'll get one too. And if you guys think that is fair, comment, comment, comment. All right. So we're giving away a two perfume, okay? One for the person who, you know, was pretty warm, pretty warm, and for the person who eat it right on top of the nail end. All right. So, all right. So we have, um, Obi, Obi Nigo. I think I get that wrong. Isaac. I am suffering with breath. I have strong, I need a strong remedy, please. And I'm going to tell you, I have a remedy on my channel and I receive hundreds of email, no joke about that particular remedy. I don't have the title right now, but when you're done, go on my channel page or go into Google and just type in um, um, bad breath, Chichi Beauty, and the video. I have more than one, but a few of them will come up. If I remember when I'm done, I'm going to put the link under this video for you. And you're going to go and mix it. The ingredients are simple, and most likely you will have access to them. Mix it up and use it. Use it for a month or two and come back and let me know. I'm going to try to remember to put it under this. If not, go on my channel page, search for it on the page or 
go on um, Google and just type in Bad Breath Chichi Beauty at the end, okay? It's really, 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 really a good remedy. And don't take it from me. Take it from all the many people that watch that video, whether they subscribe, yes or no, that take the time to reply and send me an email to say, yes, this really works for me, okay? All right, so guys, we are talking about unwinding it's the holiday we're chit-chatting we're really not sticking to the topic as we should i'm you know just looking at your comments and taking questions answering and just you know asking about your holidays however we gave a few recipe we gave a facial scrub a facial mask and we also you know do a little quick facial toner um we have um na nk I are you um since you are not demonstrating now please can i have details of your um can can i have details of your recipe sent to me um it's gonna be difficult and i'm keeping it real with you for the detailed recipe to be sent to you you'd have to do it like right now you'd have to email me right now before the show is over you have to email chichibuti at gmail.com and hopefully when the show is over and i click on my email yours will be right at the top and that's how I would send you the recipe. I'm not going to be joking with you and be like, you know, yeah, I'm going to do it because within the next hour, on top of that, I might have 200 more emails coming, covering it up. So you'd have to do it right now. But to give it to you right here and write it out, it would take way too much time. All right. But give it a shot and let's see. All right. So we have... um. We also have, hey Rita, I got to change my phone. I love you, Chichi. Take care, everyone. Okay, so you're getting a new phone. Huh? <laughs> you know I like to mess with you, um, Rita. All right, take care. Have a good holiday, and you will hear from me. All right, Margaret, what is your opinion about microfiber pads? Um, Use them. Yes, use them, use them, use them. All right. Um, we also have Taryn, nice, um, nice and fair. Okay, good. Somebody agree. All right. So Julian, um, Robinson, Robertson, um, dry eyelid. What is a remedy for it? Use some water and wet it up. I'm joking with you. I am just joking. I'm in a good mood. So you know when I'm in a good mood, sometimes I just say things like like crazy things. So your eyelid is dry. You can go to the store if you want to, and you could get a store-bought remedy for it, like Bizine and all these kind of things that is out there, okay? When it comes on to the eyes, anything to go like on the inside, I don't normally like to give um, advice. If it's anything to do with the outside, I'll give you a remedy for that. I do know um, what you can use for the dry eyelid, but um, yeah, just send an email. All right, so Jason, I'm gonna do a guava leaf toner for the, you know, Jason, we spoke about the guava leaf and for some reason, I never get around to it. And now I feel like I lose out because I should remember to let them bring me the guava leaf. But I totally forget about it. It's a good thing you've spoken. Anyway, I'm going to see how good I could get my hand on the guava leaf. I might be just be surprised myself. I might find it on Amazon. You just never know. But I really want to try the guava leaf, Jason. And it's a couple of months now we spoke about that. All right. So we have... Um, oh, Amika, Samuel, do you have any other things for us to guess? <laughs> <laughs> all right you know the honest truth is i probably should um i probably should throw something at since it all fall within the give given right what um let me see what i would have to you guys to guess um oh let's see let's see a good one it's always gonna be um it's always gonna be something uh all right yeah i could give you another guess if you can guess, uh, let's see if that's going to be hard. I got to make it easy. I have to make it easy. If you can guess, it's going to be unfair to some people, depending on where you live, to guess this. Uh, all right. Uh, this is going to be an easy one. If you could get guess what facial oil that I use today on my skin, you'll get the facial oil. I think that's a fair one because you watch the channel. So most of you are, are familiar with the oils that I use. I was going to do the shower gel, but that's 
it's going to be difficult for a lot of you. So if you can guess what oil that I'm using on my skin today, I will send you a bottle of that oil. All right. So that's it. Thank you for, yeah, let's, let's, you know, keep it going. All right. So, um, Cynthia, I read that scrolling all the way down and we also have, um, carrots are good for many, many things. Yes, yes, yes. I'm nazi. Jason, you're answering nazi, but I don't really see nazi comment anywhere here. So most likely she's somewhere here. It's the, our comment is just not in my view. And we also have um twang T T W O N G Y E I R W E. How do I get rid of pink dots on my skin? Now, if you have pink dots on the skin, the first thing I would tell you is to consult with your doctor. I'm not trying to scare anyone, but any little dots and, you know, colorful things, I normally just say, you know, give it a check out first and hear what they have to say about it. And then, you know, then if anything, you could try some home remedies. All right. So guys, we are talking about unwinding and stuff that you can use on your skin to unwind. Now, Pauline C was asking about a serum, which I basically gave uh, the recipe online. If you have rice, okay? And if you are on the chat and you have tried any of my rice serum, can you like just give a little comment and a little update? I personally like to use my homemade rice serum. And the reason for that is I like the way my skin look in the morning. What happened that rice do contain starch and it tend to give the skin a tight look. And when I mix it with those oils, it just have my skin tight and plump and feel really, really good. So I, I honestly like my own rice serum. If you have tried one of my rice serum before, comment. What I do with the rice, I boil the rice. And after I boil the rice, I blend the rice in a, um, a blender. And then I add all these amazing oils to it, like these anti-aging oil, the vitamin C, the vitamin E, the vitamin A, and I just blend it to a nice, you know, consistency. And then I use that on my face. When I'm using my rice serum, I tend not to use anything above it. I just apply it to my face at night, my neck and my decollete, sleep with it. When you wake up in the morning, sometime it might, your skin might feel a little dry, but it's not dry because it sucked the moisture out. It's dry because the rice tend to dry on the face a little. And then when you rinse off, it feel really soft and supple. And your face just look, you know, like you get a little mini lift going on. Amazing. If you try any of my rice serum, comment, comment, comment. And I just gave you guys a recipe, but you can find a full recipe of at least about three or four on the channel page. Just put serum Chichi Beauty and it will just pop right up. All right. So Brooke is guessing rose hip oil and Taryn is guessing um, black castor oil. A Makeup Forever is get it, guessing grapeseed oil. Maya is guessing batchy oil. I need to run all of you off my channel because you guys already know all the oils that I use on my skin. All right. So we, <laughs> you know what? You guys can stop guessing now because it's already there. And I'm going to see who is um, the first person that was, um, let me see who the first person that got it right. All right, so where it start? It start right. All right, so we have Jason Rosip, Julia Rosip, Batch. Da, 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 da. The first person is Maya, M O Y A, Maya Morrison for the Morella. That's the oil that I use today, the Morella oil. So, Maya, you will be getting a Morella oil. So, wherever you are, you know the drill. You send the name, address, and your phone number, okay? So yes, guys, I use the Morella oil today. And the reason I like to use it sometimes is because it's very light. It's not heavy. It so remind me of the grapeseed oil. It's just that it's more concentrated. And whenever I, um, you know, like in a certain mood, like I'm happy now, I use the Morella oil on my skin. And I didn't only use it on my face. You know, I put it on my neck, on my decollete, and just have a nice little time. I switch oils. I might have like six, seven oils and I use all. So sometimes, depending on what I'm in the mood for, that's the one I would use. And I use the Morella oil today. Also the Morella oil, when I use a little bit of it and I'm going to wear makeup, it just make my makeup just glide right on. 
So that's the reason for the Marella oil today. So send me your information, okay? And um, Lucy, I'm so sorry I missed the question. I'm squeezing lots of lemon. Ha! What is it you're making, Lucy? A lots of lemon, meaning you're going to make a rum punch? Or are you going to be making, um, what else could you use a lot of lemons in? A rum punch? Mm, I can't guess. I can only guess a drink some mix up mix up all right so um let me know what you're making lucy i might need to come over for some of these you know mixture that you're doing um um amika i know so many oil i didn't know which one to choose <laughs> okay all right lisa pomegranate aha uh -huh. it is on my brain and uh, i'm all over my account and the pomegranate is amazing i um like to eat it i like to use it on my skin and uh, I just bought a new bottle of pomegranate oil. Anyway, it's somewhere here. All right, guys. So we are, you know, talking about unwinding, but more so I'm really like just talking to you guys, no joke. And it's the holiday and I like to hear what you guys are doing. Nobody comment about the food cake, the Jamaican food cake. So I guess we, oh yes, so that's what they call it, fruit cake. Now I remember. All right. So we also have, um... We also have um, Juliana, fear, 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 Khadija tablet. Ciao, ciao back to you. We have Margaret. What is your opinion? Okay, we read that. All right, guys, I'm just scrolling to see comment. All right, so my comment is stuck, like you guys not commenting, so let's talk more about skincare. Now, guys, Drew, right throughout the year, if you have been watching the channel, what is your favorite ingredient to use? Or better yet, what ingredient that you didn't know that you could use on your skin that you are now using on your skin and you are seeing results? Anyone want to comment? Go ahead and comment. All right, so we are talking about unwinding and we're talking about facial mask and facial scrub. Now rice, I just talked about the rice serum, but I'm going to talk about a rice a facial scrub. I like to make rice facial scrub, okay? And the reason for that, rice really is amazing on your skin. Now, when you blend the rice, do not blend it to a powder, okay? If you're using it for a facial mask or in your serum or stuff like that, you blend it to a powder. But whenever you're gonna use it as a facial scrub, do not over blend. You don't want it to be powdery. You want it to have a bit of a granules in it so that when you use it to rub the skin, you will get that, you know, friction, you know, for, for to exfoliate the skin. Now, when you make a rice um, mask, I suggest that you best stick with anything that is water-based more than oil-based for the scrub. When you use brown sugar to make your scrub, go ahead and use your oils. When you use rice, go ahead and use your water-based stuff, such as aloe vera gel, um rose water a little green tea coffee juice stuff like that and the reason for that when you put the oil on the rice it tends to give it a little lump you know you really don't want that you want your scrub to be loose enough to exfoliate the skin and get rid of all the grease and dirt i've been using a lot of coffee and i've been sharing a lot of remedies with coffee blend that rice to fine granules had some coffee um blended coffee ground coffee to the rice mix the two together tip a little bit of a green tea water or a little bit of a rose water in it or some olive vera gel but make sure the two base is the coffee and the rice and use that to exfoliate your skin the trick with that recipe is that when you exfoliate your skin with it don't rinse it off right away let it sit on your skin for about 10 to 15 minutes it's gonna do double duty it's gonna work as a facial scrub and as a facial mask then you rinse it off really refreshing spritz some of your facial toner regardless of what facial toner you use and you are on your way to looking amazing to see the in-law or when your visitor come but relax with it okay that's the time you're taking to unwind you know a nice a little 
facial scrub going on. If you're waiting for the 15 minutes, browse around on the internet or close your eyes, meditate, reflect on, you know, the amazing year that you had, or even if it wasn't so good, how, what you can do to fix it, what you can do to make next year better. You know, the things that you're doing that you shouldn't be doing that you want to stop doing, how you can be on time, like with me, with the videos and, you know, how to be more organized, just reflect and, you know, just chill. And when you're done, you just rinse your face off and you are going to feel better because you're going to open your eyes with a plan or you're going to open your eyes with beautiful skin or you're going to open your eyes and being aware of something that you forget to buy for somebody. All right. So back to the comment. All right, guys, um, if you're just joining in, we're basically chit chatting. We start late. We have technical issues. We are telling you how to unwind, but more so we are talking to each other because it's, it's the holiday. As a matter of fact, no, it's not the last. Next week is going to be the last Sunday chit chat for the year. So we are taking questions and just chilling for an hour or so, but still giving a few remedies. All right. So we have Ma Iru, M A K H E R U. Have you heard of um, Bua Ba? It's um, iron, vitamin C, potassium. Would you consider using it? Do you use sea moss in any remedies? I heard a lot. Uh, have a lot of mineral. Okay. Now I have not heard about the um baho ba. I'm gonna actually write it down right here so that I don't forget to go and research it. I've not, I've not tried it. Um definitely will research it. And if I find it to be something that I would like to try, yes, I definitely would try it. When it comes on to sea mass, sea mass, I actually um just um was researching that the other day the sea moss because someone i think it was on the chat if i'm not mistaken someone was talking about the sea moss or maybe i was reading some article i'm not sure but the sea moss was you know floating around the other day so i'm actually doing a research i've not yet to try the sea moss in a facial product or skincare whatever it is but um it's out there and people are talking about it and I am doing a little bit of research on it. When I'm comfortable with the finding, then, you know, I'm going to go look if they have things already made, blah, blah, blah. Then I'm going to come back and share it with you. Okay. All right. So we also have Tembi. Um, oh, somebody else know it. So Tembi, um, yes, um, Mahero, I think I get your name wrong, ba, 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 oil is also very good so somebody else know it and we also um salute to you okay so we have lisa hello lisa hamilton i love all of them all right thank you so much maya sea moss is the same as irish moss guys yes it is the same and we also have um um amika do you know peroxide oil clean your teeth yes i know that yes 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 jason um but Am I pronouncing it right? Um, Bahoba is a big tree in Africa. Do you watch um, uh, Kiraku? What is that? A cartoon? I'm, I'm thinking it's a cartoon. Anyway, Jason, let me know if it's a cartoon. For some reason, I'm thinking it's a cartoon. Like, anyway. All right. So we have Margaret. The coffee and scrub remedy was a good surprise for me. Thank you so much for that. And that is actually an amazing, amazing scrub for your hands. Really and truly a good one. And, and we have um, Mema. Can I use um, rough clay in place of Fuller's Earth or Bonita clay? I think you, you was right in red. Yes, yes. Any clay that is you know, certified that you, know, you can use on the skin, whether it is red, pink, um, green, um, Australian clay, wherever Mexican clay. Yes, you can use it to replace the fullest earth. All right. So we also have, um, so that was the last comment that I'm seeing on my end guys. So just to know that I'm just telling you, I don't see all the comments. All right. So we are talking about facial, you know, tips, little tips, little tricks that you can do to have your skin looking amazing to unwind for the holiday season. And okay. So Jesse, yeah, it's a cartoon. So I definitely know it. 
I, uh, yes, guys, I used to watch cartoon too. Like even in my adult yes, ears, I watch a little bit of cartoon. They were good. And still, I think cartoon is not for kids, but for grown people. Anyway, we'll get into that on another chat. So guys, my time is up. I did give back the time. It's six o'clock. Some people might be wondering, what is it we're still doing here? Some people missed the show. I didn't expect anybody much to be here. I know people have busy life. People have to go shopping. The girls are waiting for me to do grocery. So, you know, it's 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 a busy time. If you're in New York and you go to a supermarket like today, you might not be able to get out for the next two, three hours. It's crazy. Everybody's out. But I love it. I love, love, love the festivity. And I like, oh, guys, I actually put my red shirt on for you guys to dye my red sweater. I like to wear the colors of the season. So I'm wearing my red sweater and I think I look nice in red. Uh, ah, so whatever it is you celebrate, guys, happy Kwanzaa, happy Anuka, Merry Christmas. You guys didn't tell me if I'm missing any other holidays that you guys celebrate round about this time. And if you celebrate nothing, happy a festive season, do something, eat, drink, be merry, take a little time for yourself, love yourself, give back if you can give back. You, you understand? It's very important to always give back if you can. And if somebody give you something, don't pretend like, oh, you shouldn't. Oh, here, mama, I bought this for you. No, you shouldn't. Take it, okay? Take it. Take it and love it and don't say anything. Don't talk about you shouldn't. The person that is giving it to you know that you deserve it that is why they're giving it to you i used to be like that i stop okay i stop kids they want to buy me things they want to spend all the money and buy me things that they can afford i am going to take it i deserve it i'm not going to be like no you shouldn't i used to but i stop take it love it use it and don't worry about it don't stress yourself Okay, don't stress yourself. It's not your pocket. They know what they can afford. Also, for you, do not overdo. Don't do what you can't do. If you understand, don't stress yourself to do what you cannot do. Do what you can afford to do. And that is the spirit. Okay, I give as I grow in life. Okay, when my pocket is small. That is what is going to come out. When it, If it gets a little better, you get a little better gift. And if you get a little better, you get a little better gift. But I am not going to be down here and I'm going to buy you something up here. I can't afford it, okay? I can't afford it because it's not what you can give. It's just the thought that counts. That's what I believe. I take crappy gifts. And my family will tell you, it's the stupid gift that you give me that I am going goo goo gaga over. Like, it's not the big things. I like thoughtful gifts, like simple things. Not, not okay, don't like pull up outside with a, a big like Tesla. Like, I really want one. But anyway, don't pull up outside with a Tesla with a bow and be like, oh, here it. I don't get those kind of gifts, guys. It's just dreaming now, right? So like, oh, I have a gift for you, a Tesla. Like the Model X, that is. Oh, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, oh. like so, so happy. Anybody how they want to give me a Tesla? But anyway, what I'm saying now, you bring me a shower gel. And I might really and truly love that shower gel, no joke, more than I love the Tesla. I'm not saying, as I said, I want one, but I'm just saying, just, you know, just to give you a little insight of how oh, I am. The simple things, like like simple, like this is a um, uh, purse I got last year from Trudy. And my purse was like getting bad and she gave it to me. And I like, so, 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 like it's the best gift ever because it's something I want to use as just simple, simple things that makes me happy. Simple things, a shower gel, you can, as, and it's no joke. Give that to me more than giving me like a piece of jewelry or all of that because how much ring I'm going to have? Like, you know, how much necklace? How much, just, just give me something simple that makes me happy. Make me a cake or something, you know? That's just me. But now, now I'm trying to learn 
I'm trying to learn to accept whatever, you know, they give. Like if somebody give me a Model X, I'm going to take it and in good faith and tell myself I deserve it and, and be all happy. Okay. But yes, guys, just stay within your budget because come January, if you overdo, good luck to you January month then. All right. And as a matter of fact, some of you get your pay December. If you're on the chat, listen to me carefully. The money you get for your salary December is the money that is supposed to be for January, okay? It's not supposed to be for Christmas. And a lot of you make that mistake and spend out the money that you get for the end of December for Christmas. I say Christmas because I celebrate Christmas, okay, guys? I can't help myself. I know I need to say the holidays. You spend out that money for the holidays and come January, you're so broke. Because you totally forget that you're not getting no more money, depending on, you know, how the pay cycle work. I get paid once a month, so it's all the month then. Or some people buy weekly, you ain't getting no pay till two weeks into January. Okay? So remember that. Take care of the bills for January. Before you go out there and buy somebody a Model X. I'm just saying, guys, you know, because it's on my mind. All right, so... Be good to yourself. Love yourself. We're going to be on on Christmas Day. Um, I'm not sure what time, but I'm thinking 12 noon. Okay, guys, because I know we're going to get up late. So I'm thinking 12 noon. We're going to be on 12 noon um, Eastern Standard Time. That is going to be about 9 Pacific Time, 9 a.m. Pacific Time. We're going to be on on Christmas Day. We're going to have our gift giving, okay? Our annual gift giving. This is not a sponsored video. This is me giving back because I believe there's so many of you that has been around and is around and around and you guys showed support. I wish I could give everybody something. I'm not going to be able to give everybody, but on the chat, there are people that comment and that's where I'm going to take the names. We're going to put names in a bag and we're going to shake it up and we're going to give away some gift. Okay. It's no joke. There's people on the chat that has been around that know these are real gifts that we do give away. So you, when you comment and if you're watching right now and you have not yet comment, you need to comment so your name can be taken from the comment because we cannot tell who is watching. We just knows know who is commenting and whoever is commenting that's how we know you are watching we see the numbers but we don't know behind the numbers so comment say something anything put a thumbs up on the chat a smiley face an emoji whatever it is but you got to type something and to type something in you look below the video and you're going to see a little bar with your face in a circle and that is where you tap on your phone and just start to type. That's how you comment on the chat, all right? I know some people really don't know how to comment. My time is up. It has been an amazing year, like amazing year. I get to know so many of you by name. I wish I could put a face to some of your names. Next year, I'm gonna be asking people to send pictures. Like the, like some of you is always, always on and you, you look at the thing, it's just a circle. Like you don't see, I'm going to start asking for pictures so I could give you your shout out and actually show your picture. And, and for me, I could put a, you know, a little picture to a name sometime. So we're going to be doing some of that. And some of you who use the remedies, we're going to like to, you know, I like you a little bit on the show because I want it to be a little more interactive. So we're going to the drawing board and we're going to come back with some amazing stuff next year. All right, guys, go finish your grocery shopping, your gift buying, seasoning up your meat. Some people season meat already, loses their meat, squeezing a whole bunch of lemon. And I'm still don't, I'm not sure what is it she making. So um, yeah, people are doing things. So go back and do some things if you don't clean yet. Try to clean up before the in-law come or, you know, um, if you have to go to the in-law, clean your house and leave it clean so that when you go over there and you get drunk or you overeat, you can come back and stretch out in your nice bed, no dishes to wash or nothing. Your place is clean. Some people do that. So do what you have to do and enjoy yourself. Enjoy your family, unwind. During the time you're doing all of that, take time for yourself. You know, give yourself a little facial exfoliate your face in the shower, play some music and just have fun. It's a wonderful time of the year. It's really a nice time. It's cold in New York, guys, but I love a cold Christmas. And if you're in like the islands, all my people out there in Jamaica in the warm weather, enjoy yourself, do something nice. Antigua, Grenada, Australia, um, oh boy, 
Anyway, all the people watching from all over the world, if I didn't say your country, I know you all watch the Philippines, India, all of those, you know, and the good old America where most of my views are from. Enjoy your holiday and I love you and I see you guys on Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 a.m. Pacific Time. Bye, guys. Oh, um, don't have the most eyes. I know you're just coming in. Um, welcome, welcome. Positive, elegant. See you. Bye-bye, guys. I love you guys. And I'm going to go grocery shopping now. So take care. Hi, Jason. Have a Merry Christmas. Happy New... Well, I'm going to see you before the New Year. Let's start talk about the New Year, okay? And Lucy, you still didn't say what you're squeezing all those lime for. And we have um, Kabi, Kaji. Kaji, how are you? Bye, guys. Peggy. Um, Peggy, Patricia. Um, hello, Mo. How are you doing? Esther, Kamara. And I know some of you guys are so late. Look at you all just coming in now. Eh? And you have no idea what was going on in the beginning that we didn't start until way half an hour later. But we're wrapping up now. Diana Edwards, love to watch your video. I try a few. Ta thanks, thanks to you. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, th there is Nazi. Nazi, um, how are you? Chichi, please tell me what I can do with my hibiscus flowers, please. The facial toner. St and I gave a recipe the other day. You probably miss it. Steam the hibiscus flowers just like you steam. As a matter of fact, throw a pack of green tea in it and brew it and set it to cool just like you do the rose water, okay? Now, once you do that, you add a little bit, not a lot of oil, let's say two drops or depending on the amount you make, let's say a, a, a cup, a half a cup, two drops of the rose hip oil, pour a little bit of a rose water in there if you want to and shake that up, keep it in the fridge and spritz it on your face. Use it to wipe your face on a cotton pad. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, all right. So we also, uh, Lucy, and, and to freeze. Oh, okay. All right, so you are preparing things ahead of time to freeze lemonade, a little rum, you know, in the lemonade and stuff like that. Yes. All right, Brooke, night, night, see you. And we also have, let's see who just joined. Hello, Karen, bye. Um, Lisa Amita, can we talk dry eel next year? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Because like now the season, the dry eel is going, okay? But you know, a good remedy for that is Vaseline and it's no joke, okay? At night, just rub it with some Vaseline and go to bed and it's going to help. Make sure when you're rubbing the Vaseline on it, you leave a little water on it. Don't make it too dry and put the Vaseline every night just before you go to bed. If you don't have Vaseline, you know, the cocoa butter, mm, but the Vaseline lock the moisture in. That's what it does. It lock the moisture. The moisture don't escape and it causes the, the, the eel to get a little smooth and nice. But we're going to exfoliate that eel before. You can use some coarse salt, some sea salt or some Epsom salt with some oil and you rub that foot, soak it in some water, rinse it off. And then you put that Vaseline on at night. Do it for two weeks and come back. I'm sure you're going to tell me how nice your foot look. Feel soft and amazing. All right. Bye, guys. I love you guys. And I'll see you on Wednesday. Go and support the channel by watching the video I post earlier. It was very late, but it's there. All right, guys. See you soon. Um, thank you so much. Hello, Carita. How are you? Happy holidays. And um, I hope your, um, your brother is feeling better. I saw that on Facebook. I hope your brother is feeling better. Okay. All right. Have a happy holiday, guys. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.